This program is intended for mature audiences only and contains a brief mention of suicide. Specific content warnings can be found in the show notes. If you're listening to this without permission, please stop. This is not for you. Okay. Well, I assume that's just a precaution. No one's scanning this band for anything at this time. (sighs) Evening, Trapper took your advice, and we'll keep this off the company servers. I deleted all our threads. I moved these recordings to an isolated drive, at least until I decide what to do. I know how what I said sounds. I, I wouldn't believe me either, not without proof as discussed. So let's start here. This is the first signal I picked up. This was just a few minutes after the big blackout, right when we were coming back online. You will recall we were all scrambling to reestablish the network. And I heard this sound from one of the satellites and uh, she's at L50.19 and AZ133.24. You can try to pick her up yourself, but it never repeated. But I recorded it. Underneath the noise was a signal, which when I first picked it up... (laughs) It scared the shit out of me. I thought it was some sort of emergency transmission, and I don't know, maybe it was, but it wasn't from here. Look, um, I think you should hear it, okay? At least so I know I'm not imagining it. Okay, here it goes. Hours remaining until the official beginning of. What is it that they want? Ladies and gentlemen, we are asking you for just a moment of your time as we prepare. And of course, led by the indomitable Francisco Chili Ramirez and his orchestra. We'll hear more of them in just a moment, folks. Well, it's that time of year again already. Can you believe it? I can hardly believe it myself. Seems like only yesterday that I had the honor and the privilege to last be with you here on this special night. And what a beautiful night it is. You couldn't ask for better weather. We've got clear skies and lows in the mid-40s throughout the central plains with scattered showers around the Great Lakes. Make no mistake about it. It's a perfect night to be indoors, to cozy up by the fire with a mug of something hot, and to be with your families and loved ones. Those of you still rushing around to get your last errands done, remember to watch the clock and head home as soon as you can. Your family is waiting for you. Safety is waiting for you. Let's settle in with another number from Chili Ramirez and his orchestra as they play for us. Ain't she sweet? Restoration work on the building's facade so far behind schedule. There's rising concern that the damage might be enough. So remember to take one last look around you. Is everything put away neatly? Where it should be? Are your shutters and curtains drawn tight? Do you know where your pets and children are? Review your list of precautions and have a family member double check your work. When it comes to safety, remember, good enough is never good enough. And if you think you're as ready as you can be, why not ask your neighbor if he could use a hand? As the hour approaches, it's up to each and every one of us to do our part as a community. Don't let complacency invite preventable disaster. From all of us at the Department of Protection, good night and stay safe. I've now been told the stranded... 
bus passengers have now all been accounted for and will spend the evening safely in shelters provided. That chime means there's just an hour and 15 minutes to go before we take our intermission, which still leaves us plenty of time together. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this marks my sixth year presiding over tonight's festivities from the ballroom of the Palmer House in Chicago, and I just can't tell you how proud that makes me. I know that tonight's not a night that we exactly look forward to, and it can come with a certain stress and worry. And that's why I feel that if we can bring just a moment of levity or good cheer to your evening, well then, we've done our duty. For those of you who haven't settled in for the night yet, it's also my duty to remind you of the time. In just 15 minutes, the national curfew will be in effect. Drive safely, and come on home. And now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, here's Chili Ramirez and his orchestra with a tune you're sure to recognize. Let's dance. are confident but won't know until the morning if the prototype dwellings will be far enough underground to pass under the radar. Roger that. Still one final sweep. Okay, keep an eye on the time. I'll be fine. You're on the east edge of Drexel? Mm-hmm. Just got a call about curfew breakers. Headed north on Elm, two adults and a child. Shit, okay, I can be there in 30 seconds. Remember to watch the time. Thanks. Okay, I see them. Excuse me, sir. You? Hey! No! Hey, come back here! Get the fuck away from us! Shit, they rabbited. Headed for the footbridge over the creek. Okay, don't go anywhere. Chief says do not pursue. What? Do not pursue. You don't have time for suicides. Damn shit. Can't save everyone. Come on back, clock's ticking. Clean up will deal with it in the morning, not your beat. Yeah, okay. On my way. This is freedom. This is the bare illusion enforced by the threat of firing. Minutes and 45 seconds remain before we go off the air at the mandated time. We will resume broadcast as soon as the all clear is given from the Department of Protection with a full report as it becomes available. By now, your home should be completely prepared. Do not exit your house or raise your blinds at this time. If you need to report non-compliance, you may dial emergency services from your home phone as long as you stay indoors. Remember, in the unlikely event that you are outdoors and cannot reach an emergency shelter, Federal law requires that you remove yourself from any populated areas to avoid additional casualties or damage to structures. In encouraging news, local police departments throughout the state are reporting record compliance with the national curfew, resulting in few... Can you keep living like this? It's no way for a human being. Time is now 9.45 p.m. Central Time on November 3rd, 1938.89, and that means we are just moments away now. Well, I hope that we've managed to bring some small measure of relaxation and calm into your evening. I'm afraid our time together is coming to an end. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, whatever the evening brings, stay indoors. Do not look out the windows, no matter what you might hear outside. Resist the temptation and keep your loved ones close. We will get through this like we always do, together. We keep each other safe, America, by remaining unchanged by preserving our way of life. Together we'll survive the winter and ring in another year and an even better 1938. So, from all of us here at the ballroom of the Palmer House in Chicago. We will no longer be held back like this by unseen forces. In time we act like we are truly free. Damn the curve. Well, next we will hear from Mason Harper, our 27th Franklin Roosevelt and President of these United States. 
are now confirming that the objects have been spotted in orbit, just as predicted. Oh God, look. Look. It's beautiful. Now we're going to cease transmission for the next 37 and a half minutes. Turn on your lights and shut off the radio. Good luck. Be still and calm. We'll see you on the other side. Until next time, this is Marcus DeMarco from the ballroom of the Palmer House in Chicago. Yeah, so there's more, but nothing that would help make sense of that. Once I lost that sound, I was never able to pick up that particular signal again. I tried. I tried for hours to isolate it again, but it's gone. And obviously there's no rational explanation for what I just played you. I mean, if it's real... If it's real, Jesus, I, I've played it 30 times. It hasn't gotten any less real. I just, I just don't know what it means. It has to mean something because once I knew what to look for, it was easy to find the others. That wasn't the only satellite affected and that wasn't the only signal. I've got more, I got a lot more. And some of them, stay tuned, um, <laughs> I'll be back. You have been listening to Observable Radio. Tonight's episode, A Night Indoors, was performed by the ensemble featuring Phil Van Hest, Katie Scovholt, Orion Kellogg, Jason Smith, Zoliver Nelson Jr., Chris Straub, and Perperina. Written and edited by Cameron Suey. Produced by Cameron Suey and Phil Van Hest. Our psychology consultant is Dr. Elisa Leal. Art by Corinne Fletcher. Our theme music is The Backrooms, performed by Mew. Additional music from this episode provided by Tim Kulig, the Hansog Big Band, and the United States Marine Band. If you've enjoyed this show, help other people discover it by giving us a review on Apple Podcasts or the podcast feed of your choice. It really does help. Observable Radio is listener-supported. If you would like to contribute towards our production costs and payment for our voice actors, you can do so at patreon.com slash observable radio or coffee, that's ko-fi.com slash observable radio. Find us online at observableradio.com. If you are experiencing thoughts of suicide, please reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988. Additional resources can be found in the show notes. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned.